Wondering if NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 5070 and 5070 t graphics cards are really as impressive as they sound? Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the specs and features of these next-gen GPUs. I've been wondering, what took you so long to discover this channel? We'll explore everything from raw performance to power consumption and help you decide if they're worth your hard-earned cash. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of whether the RTX 5070 or 5070T should be your next upgrade. Let's start by looking at what the RTX 5070 and 5070T bring to the table. These cards are expected to be built on NVIDIA's brand new Blackwell architecture, promising major improvements in gaming performance, AI tasks, and productivity workloads. The RTX 5070 is said to come with 6,400 CUDA cores and 12 GB of GDDR7 memory running on a 192-bit memory bus, while the RTX 5070T is rumored to feature 8,960 CUDA cores and 16 GB of GDDR7 memory on a 256-bit interface. With these specs, NVIDIA is aiming to boost the overall performance and efficiency of their mid-range offerings. If you're excited about these specs, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It helps the channel a ton and ensures you get all the latest updates on upcoming tech. Now, let's dive into the real performance numbers. The RTX 5070's 6,400 CUDA cores are a significant step up from the previous RTX 4070, which had just 5,888 cores. This increase in cores should translate into better performance in graphically demanding games and professional applications, especially those involving 3D rendering and video editing. The RTX 5070T, with its 8,960 CUDA cores, promises an even bigger jump in performance over the RTX 4070 Ti's 7,680 cores. This would make the 5070 Ti a powerhouse for anyone looking to run the latest games at high settings or take on computationally heavy tasks without breaking a sweat. The memory on both cards is another area where NVIDIA has made significant upgrades. GDDR7 memory is a big leap over the older GDDR6 offering higher bandwidth and better efficiency, which is crucial for gaming at higher resolutions and tackling complex tasks. The RTX 5070's 12GB of GDDR7 on a 192-bit bus should offer a great balance for gaming at 1440p or even 4K, while the RTX 5070Ti's 16GB of GDDR7 on a 256-bit bus makes it more future-proof. Perfect for 4K gaming and intensive professional workflows that require large memory buffers. So far, it's looking pretty promising, but let's take a moment to consider some of the potential drawbacks. The power consumption of both cards has also been revealed, and it might be a concern for some users. The RTX 5070 is rumored to have a TDP, thermal design power, of around 220 watts, while the RTX 5070T could draw as much as 300 watts. That's a bit higher than the previous generation and could mean you'll need to upgrade your power supply if you're working with older setups. Additionally, higher power consumption could lead to higher energy bills over time, especially if you're gaming or working on heavy workloads for extended periods. But let's not forget the good stuff. The increase in performance from both cards over the previous generation means you'll be able to game, edit, and create with more speed and efficiency than ever before. The RTX 5070 and 5070T are also expected to support NVIDIA's latest technologies, like DLSS 3.0 and ray tracing, which will further enhance the realism and visual quality of supported games. Here's a fun little side note. If you're into gaming at high resolutions or multitasking with heavy programs, these GPUs should keep you ahead of the curve for the next few years. They'll likely perform well with demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077, Starfield, and upcoming AAA releases. It's a great choice for anyone looking for a GPU that can handle next-gen gaming without breaking the bank. If you're enjoying this breakdown, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe for more tech updates and reviews. When it comes to comparing the RTX 5070 and 5070T with other similar cards, 
We can see that the 5070T has the edge over the regular 5070 with more CUDA cores, higher memory capacity, and better overall performance. But how do they stack up against other graphics cards currently on the market? The RTX 5070T sits somewhere between the RTX 4070T and the RTX 4080, and while it may not offer the same raw power as the 4080, it provides a solid mid-range alternative for those who don't want to drop $1,000 plus on a high-end GPU. Compared to other competitors like AMD's Radeon RX 7800 XT or 7900 XT, NVIDIA's new offerings look pretty competitive, especially when you factor in NVIDIA's software stack, which includes things like NVIDIA Reflex, DLSS, and exclusive game optimizations. While AMD cards are solid performers too, NVIDIA's ecosystem often feels more polished, especially when it comes to ray tracing and AI-driven features. At the end of the day, these cards are likely to appeal to a wide variety of users. Whether you're a gamer who wants to experience the latest titles at 4K with ray tracing turned on, or a creative professional who needs the power for video editing, 3D modeling, or rendering, the RTX 5070 and 5070T could be exactly what you're looking for. But who should consider buying one of these GPUs? If you're gaming at 1440p or 4K and want a GPU that can keep up with demanding titles for the next few years, either of these cards will do the trick. Creative professionals, like video editors or 3D designers, will also find the RTX 5070T a great option for high-level workloads thanks to its powerful architecture and large memory capacity. On the other hand, if you're only doing light gaming or office work, you might find the price tag a bit high for your needs. In summary, the RTX 5070 and 5070T look like they'll be solid choices for anyone in need of strong performance without spending a fortune on the ultra-high-end models. These GPUs deliver the power needed for next-gen gaming and demanding creative tasks, while staying relatively affordable compared to their higher-tier counterparts. If you're in the market for a new GPU, keep an eye out for these models when they launch. And hey, if this review helped you out, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with any questions or thoughts you might have. We love hearing from you, and we'll keep bringing you more in-depth reviews of the 